Today we're looking at this cooler from SPC. It's got six heat pipes and ARGB lighting. Okay, on the front of the box, you've got the manufacturer's name, which is Salentium PC or SPC for short. This is a Fortis 5 ARGB. You can see the big fan on the front there, which obviously has got ARGB lighting, and you can see the heat sink there, and you can just about make out those six heat pipes. Okay, to the back and the side of the box, it tells you about the six year warranty on there. It also tells you about the high performance CPU cooling, all the usual stuff, the 140 millimeter fan on there, extended fan speed range, and all this, that, and the other. Uh, it also tells you the specifications as well as including which sockets it'll work on. It will work on pretty much most sockets out there, including socket 1700 and most of your AMD ones as well. Inside the box, you've got the heat sink itself. As you can see there, it's quite a large one, as well as a 14 or 140 millimeter fan. So that's pretty good. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. You've got the manual, tells you how to fit it on all your different boards from AMD to Intel. And you've got a nice bag of bits and bobs here from your adapters, thermal paste, and so forth. The fan came in a box. These cables came in another box. And obviously those all came in the larger box. Windows 11, powerful, productive, and profitable for resellers. Windows 11 was built with usability, efficiency, and security in mind, reimagining the way a PC should work. Windows 11 has been beautifully simplified with a streamlined UI. It's simple to upgrade. VIP is your destination for genuine Windows 11. Contact your VIP account manager for the latest price and unbundled deals. Okay, so we've got the heat sink here. This is the front side of the heat sink. The back side has sort of got an indention on the back for styling. It's a full aluminium heat sink. You can see pretty much straight through it, so it's not that dense. So that should be ideal for a quiet fan or something along that line. So it's quite a quiet actual heat sink. But again, we'll check that in testing. Uh, on the top, there is a piece of plastic. I'm guessing that's just there for looks. Uh, it's black, obviously, uh, and it's got their logo on there as well. Now, going to the actual base, you can see there there is six heat pipes. So yes, that's six heat pipes. So that's not obviously free this side free that side which will loop around this is actually six which is a lot more than you get in most don't get me wrong there are other ones on the market where you get six but having six gives it a large surface area over the actual cpu especially on something like the new 1700 socket uh, for the intel uh, so it should give it a good coverage and be able to with uh, or it should be able to take a lot of the heat away from it and put it into the fins which then gets obviously blown off with the fan it looks quite nice and shiny on there, so that's pretty good. The actual heat sinks look like they are copper and nickel plated, which is good. And then you've got your mounting mechanism there, which depending on obviously if you are using AMD or Intel, you can check that on the manual. Uh, bear in mind, the manual is obviously a printed out version. I would have preferred a QR code version uh, personally. If you did wish, you can actually attach a second fan to the back of the actual heatsink if you wanted to. So you've got the ability of making it a push-pull configuration. Windows 11, powerful, productive, and profitable for resellers. Windows 11 was built with usability, efficiency, and security in mind, reimagining the way a PC should work. Windows 11 has been beautifully simplified with a streamlined UI, it's simple to upgrade. VIP is your destination for genuine Windows 11. Contact your VIP account manager for the latest price and unbundled deals. Okay, let's have a quick look at the fan. As you can see there, you've got a nine bladed fan. You've got these nice sort of like teeth on the actual blades. I hope you don't catch your fingers in those because it'll probably cut or hurt pretty much. You should rename it Jaws or something like that. Uh, it doesn't have any rubberized corners in there where the screws go through, but they do come with some in the packet so you can attach rubberized uh, bits on here to stop any vibrations. The same for the back as well, which is pretty good. Otherwise, it's quite a minimalist style. Obviously, it is ARGB, so that's obviously your RGB lighting. On the back, you can see where the cables come out together there. Would have been nice if they'd actually got the cables 
running through this bit here. Um, I'm guessing that's generally what it's usually used for. Um, but over what? But they're really sort of coming out just to the side of the actual frame there, which is a bit of a shame. It would have looked a little bit better if it had gone straight across. But it's only a little thing. The cabling's long enough, so this cable does have an option to daisy chain. It is a PWM connection on there, so you can basically uh, it will adjust the speed with your motherboard. So if your motherboard says the CPU is hot, then obviously it will make the fan run faster and so forth. And obviously if it's uh, running cool, it will run slower. So that's pretty good. You've got an ARGB connection on there. That's the five volt three pin one, which is like two pins missing one and then one pin. And you do have a connection on the other end to daisy chain it so you can connect two devices up together. For example, the actual ARGB lighting on the heatsink, you'd connect up to one of these and then connect that to your motherboard or the other way around. And obviously, uh, that's pretty good. And you can obviously attach an extra fan or fans if you wanted to. If you were adding the extra fan to the heatsink, it allows you to daisy chain those together. But otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. You can see the back of it there and you can see all the model numbers and everything uh, on the back. Okay, so down to testing. One thing to bear in mind is this cooler is designed to be quiet, and unfortunately, with anything that's designed to be quiet doesn't always necessarily mean it's high performance, and that is going to be the case with this. We have tested it on our i7 12700K processor, which is renowned to get hot, and these results will show. We've tested fan speeds at 50% and 100%, and we even added an extra fan on there to see how it would handle it. With the fan speed set at 50% and the machine running at 100% load, so that means that each core on the processor is running flat out for 30 minutes, we got an average temperature of 86 degrees Celsius. Unfortunately, it did thermal throttle at that temperature, which basically means it really failed the test. We tried the test again at 100% speed. Again, we got similar results, 83 degrees Celsius on average, but it did peak at over 100, which again caused it to thermal throttle. And we did the same when we added another fan to it. Results were slightly better here, 78 degrees Celsius, but on average, but it did peak again at over 100 degrees Celsius, which means it thermal throttled again. So if you're planning to use it on a really hot CPU like the new i7 processors, the 12th gen, uh, or even an i9, you're probably going to struggle if you're using it on an i5 or below or an older generation, let's say a 9th, 10th or 11th generation Intel CPU, you're going to be absolutely fine. We did also test it on our 10700K Intel i7 processor as well, which runs a bit cooler. The average temperature at 50% load was getting around about 78 degrees Celsius. When we set it as 100% fan speed, it was down to 72 degrees Celsius. We did also manage to overclock it as well. Temperatures did peak at about around about 92 degrees, but averaged out about 84. So it was capable, but unfortunately it's just not capable on the brand new 12th gen i7s or above. But saying that, it performed pretty well considering it's supposed to be a quiet fan. And if you're after a quiet fan, then it's definitely that. For example, when it was running at 50% speed, you couldn't actually hear the fan at all over any other, no any other fans inside the case. I had to put my ear against the actual fan itself to be able to hear it. And even when it was running flat out at 100%, it still wasn't making that much noise. Only just audible over the rest of the case fans in the machine. And to be honest, if you're sitting more than 30 centimeters away, you probably wouldn't have been able to hear it. So if you need a really quiet fan, this is probably for you. Also, if you want in the looks as well, so the RGB lighting, not just on the fan, but the heatsink as well. Well, you have it. It's pretty much got everything there apart from that high performance thing. So if you're looking for a CPU cooler for a mid-end or a low-end PC, and even some slightly high ends, then this could be the cooler for you if you can get it at the right price. So I would recommend this product. If you're interested in other heat sink and fan videos, why don't you click this box just up here, right here, 
Otherwise, if you're interested in more SPC products, you can click this box just down here. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.